So if you're a filmmaker, either on YouTube or doing professional work, you know the name brand Comica. Comica has been around in the audio game for years to bring professional audio gear and professional interfaces or even lav mics. Look, I've been using a wireless mic system before along with the audio interfaces and it has been outstanding. Uh, you know, they've been very good in the audio space. So what you're listening to right now is the latest do microphone setup. Right, then I got my cell phone here because this is the mobile solution that they have. This is the Vimo S UC dual microphone for Android devices or any devices that requires USB type C for audio. You can use this setup. Now they do have a iPhone setup uh, with lightning and stuff like that. I will leave those links down in the description below. But let me give you my thoughts about this complete setup. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is like back with another video. So audio is very important. I mean, look, audio is probably 60% of when you're shooting videos. Look, they're always a better solution than using the mobile phone itself. So if you're using a smartphone, a tablet, or even a computer, internal audio is not that great if you're using the internal audio on those devices. So let's talk about what you get in the box when you buy this complete setup. So looking at the box itself, it's nice. Have the description and photo of the product on the box itself. So there's a charging case when you open this box up with dual microphones in it. Yes, this is a dual channel setup here with dual microphones. Next, you have a receiver also with two wind muffs uh, and a USB-C to USB-C charging uh, cable. Next, there's a two-in-one charging and monitoring adapter that comes in the box, which is very good. There's a user manual plus warranty card uh, that you get with this setup. So let's look at the two transmitters here. There's an internal microphone right on the top, and in the front you have a status indicator that shows blue when it's paired, it shows green when the denoise is on, it shows red when it's uh, muted, and next there's a denoise, a mute, and a pair button right on the side, right? And at the bottom there's a charging contact. So when you put this in uh, the charging case, it will automatically start charging. So let's look at the receiver. There's a charging port, a volume knob, which is really nice. There's a mono and stereo button here. Also a pairing indicator. Now the charging case itself has a USB type C port, a battery indicator, uh, and a reset hole. So this wireless system is definitely ready to go for professional use. Now, as you know, you've been listening to the complete setup, unedited raw sound. But you know what? Let's talk a little bit about the tech specs. The Vimo S works on the 2.5 gigahertz system with a sampling rate of 48 kilohertz at 24 bits. The frequency response is 80 hertz to 20 kilohertz with a signal to noise ratio of about 70 dBs. Now, the microphone itself is omnidirectional and it has a about five hours of battery life and about two hours of charge time. Now battery life kind of vary because I've been getting a little inking out a little longer than five hours with the case. Okay, so what you've been listening to right now is the device itself in my studio. Now I do have fan noise and I do have computers running, which let's go ahead and uh, demonstrate some of the features here of this product, right? All right, and again, it's nice and small and it's pretty compact and as y'all guys can hear it right so on the side here you have a button so when I press that okay so I'm seeing the audio levels here just to make sure all right so there it is all right one of the things I do want to test since I'm in the studio uh, I want to test uh, how it would sound uh, with and without 
the lav mics itself. So let me put this back on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to another clip and I'm going to take this off. And I want y'all guys to listen to how the device sounds in the studio by itself, the internal audio. So check this out. All right. So I took this off and right now, what you're listening to right now is the audio coming straight from the Xiaomi 12 as Ultra. So you're definitely going to hear some different sound qualities coming from this unit to that unit. And as you can hear, the sound quality may not be that great. But let me plug this back up. As you can see right there, it has one and it has two and it's still going. Okay. And let me take the other microphone out and it should pair by itself. Okay. There it goes. Second uh, light came on. So right now I am, I have both the microphones on. So y'all guys can hear it. It could be kind of loud there. Uh, some see them kind of peeking there. Put this one back in. Okay. All right. Oh, so it turned off. There we go. All right. So there it is. The D noise also with the internal audio versus external audio. All right, guys. So here it is. I'm out here at the park and uh, it's kind of windy out here. So uh, one of the things I want to test is distance, uh, audio quality. Uh, and we go test the internal audio versus external audio. The device I'm using right now is a Xiaomi 12S Ultra. Very good image quality, but you want to have audio quality to go along with it. One of the things that I've been preaching here on this YouTube channel is that there's no reason that you should not have good audio, especially with companies like Comica and other companies that give you very good audio, bang for your buck. Uh, internal audio on smartphones, if you're using a mobile solution, is not that great. Even if you're using mirrorless cameras or DSLR cameras, the, the audio quality coming from the internal uh, audio is not that great. So I would always recommend using external audio. All right. So I have the wind muff on to block uh, the wind noise because there's plenty of it. But let's do the distant test. And as I walk, I want to talk to you guys now as you can see I'm my back turned and you can still hear the audio and one of the reasons why is because Comica did a very good job with uh, you know and listen you need line of sight so if it was walls here I may have some issues but since I'm in an open field even though I turn backwards you still hear the audio which is a great job uh, so you got to remember that uh, right now I'm far from it. They proclaim it 200 meters, right? So 200 meters of range. Uh, let's go to the see if I can go at least, I don't know. I think I'm about, I think I'm about 200 meters. I'm far. So <laughs> one of the things that they bring into the table is a dual channel setup, which is dual mics. So if I was out here talking to somebody, I could give them the second mic and we could have a conversation. We could walk around and have a conversation. And as long as the, the smartphone or the mobile solution is recording, then you're going to get very good audio. So that's the distance test. And you already hear the quality of these microphones. Uh, so you be the judge for yourself on the, the, the sound quality and the distance. So let's go on and talk about uh, the internal audio, which I always like to let y'all listen to the before and the after. Uh, and so right now you listen to the Comica, but let me go and let y'all guys listen to the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, the internal audio and uh, let y'all listen to how different it sound between external audio and internal audio. So check this out. All right guys, so here it is. This is the Xiaomi 12S Ultra internal audio. And as you can hear, it doesn't sound that great. So uh, I always been preaching about external audio. If you're gonna use smartphones, and, and smartphones like the, the Xiaomi 12S Ultra with the awesome image quality, so you're getting great image quality, but you have to have an audio solution to go along with it. And I believe that 
having external microphones is very good. But here it is, here how it sounds with the internal uh, audio solution versus the external audio solution. So let me go ahead and plug this back because I know it doesn't sound that great. So there you have it. You heard how it sounds with the internal audio versus the external audio. And I mean, it's basically night and day. So if you are a smartphone filmmaker, whether or not it's gonna be on Android or iOS, you definitely need a uh, external solution to give you great audio. And Comica may be the device for you. Listen, I will leave all product links down in the description below if you want to check them out. But you know what? I've made videos about Comica already in the past. If you want to see a playlist of the Comica wireless solution and other products from Comica, click the video right here. See that video right there? Click that videos right there. I got a playlist with Comica. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.